Hi there, Mountain Culture Swix Wax Clinic. We're going to do a, a base prep, so this is what we do uh, just before we do the waxing. So it's, it's really quite simple. Um, Mountain Cultures, we have a few things that we, uh, we, we need to, to have uh, for the base prep. Uh, this is post waxing, uh, pre waxing, sorry. Um, we're using uh, Fiber Tex, uh, it's a combi pack. We have a coarse, medium, and fine. We need all three. So we sell them in packs here at Mountain Cultures. The second thing we need is a coarse, uh, a coarse uh, a brass brush with nylon around the outside. Uh, what this is referred to in this case, we're going to call this freshening. In all the skis, we have a structure in the ski. It basically runs from tip to tail, broken patterns, that type of thing. This is what uh, is the most important part of a ski, reducing friction. That's our number one goal is to reduce friction. What I like to do is I like to take a brush. Normally I'll draw an arrow on that brush. Make sure the brush that you purchase only travels one direction the entire time that you have it. Um, with, this, with this ski, I'm gonna, basically I'm gonna secure it to my vices. We sell a really nice, uh, really economical helium vise here by Swix. It's, an, it's, a, it's a great vise, really good for the free ride skis. All the park guys really like it too. Um, we're gonna take the, the, uh, the, uh, the actual uh, the, the brush here and basically I'm gonna work tip to tail now. I know when, when I was doing the sharpening part, I said you could go either way. This time I really only want you to go tip to tail, even with, with, with snowboarding. And snowboards, we do, sometimes we do like a crisscross fashion, but in the skiing, we're just gonna take our brush and we're basically just working that ski tip to tail, secure to the vise, and brushing that ski. We refer to this brushing as freshening. You're freshening the ski. You're getting all the dirt out of the structure of the ski, and you're basically prepping it to, for the wax that we're gonna, we're gonna do soon. There's really not a lot of time. Uh, you can brush as much as you want. The more you brush, the faster your ski or snowboard's gonna glide. So really important that you continue this brushing until you get big, strong arms like me. Uh, that is the freshening aspect. After I do that, freshening with the, with the coarse brush. So here's what it looks like on the shelf. Uh, this one here that Jay has, it's a, a, a stiff nylon and a coarse, coarse bronze. It's a really perfect brush. It's got that combi aspect to it. Then I'm going to take my FiberTex coarse. Uh, with my FiberTex coarse, I'm going to use the very brush that I, that I freshened with. I just stick it to it like that. And I'm just going to take that coarse brush and and push, push as hard as I can on the ski and work that fiber text right to the edge. Now I'll, I'll explain this. The structure's got peaks, the structure has valleys. When the ski is brand new, those peaks are sharp. You just want to round them off a little bit so the skis pivot really nicely. So we use our, our course. Now you saw that I was having a little bit of trouble with that. You can just use your hand like so. Uh, normally I like to keep my hands away from the edges and things, that's why I always put it on a brush. Um, after that, we're going to take our citrus solvent I use, or we can have a nice little aerosol container of that same cleaner, it's called base cleaner. And we use what's called fiber lean, this is a lint free paper. Really important to have uh, paper that doesn't leave lint or anything behind, because that would get melted into the base and cause a, a, a slower glide phase. Uh, because I'm the big daddy rep, I got a, a big roll. <laughs> so it's the same thing as that little, little roll. We're gonna take our base cleaner, this is after brushing, after the fiber texting. And we're gonna put it on a lint-free paper and just basically clean that ski. Swix's base cleaners are non-toxic, they, they, they do not harm the base, the P-TEX, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, feel fr free to apply this uh, material to your, your ski or snowboard liberally if you want. But it's important before you wax just to let it dry out. That will be our, our, our pre-wax segment, and we'll get back to you with the actual waxing. I stumbled with that a little bit.